Hi, myself Dr. Abbas Vatoli, Assistant Professor Amal College of Advanced Studies, Nilapu. Today I am discussing about depreciation and investment allowance as per Income Tax Act 1961. Depreciation means decrease in value of asset by wear and tear caused by their use in the business. Depreciation is allowed as a deduction from the income from business or profession. Eligibility for depreciation. Tangible assets like uh, building, plant or machinery and furniture. Intangible assets like trademark, copyright, franchisee, licenses, etc. However, goodwill, investment and land are not eligible for depreciation. These are the two conditions to be satisfied for claiming depreciation. First of all, assets should be owned by the SSE wholly or partially and assets should be used in the business during the previous year. If the asset is installed but not used, the depreciation cannot be claimed. The depreciation can be claimed from the date on which asset is put to use in the business. Block of asset means group of asset within a class of asset in respect of which same rate of depreciation is prescribed. Income Tax Act prescribed different rate of depreciation for different block of asset. Method of depreciation. Straight line depreciation is allowed only in the case of enterprises operating in the generation and distribution of power. In all other cases, return down value method of depreciation is prescribed. An additional depreciation over and above the normal depreciation at the rate of 20% is available for, on, for purchase of new plant or machinery in a manufacturing concern. And it is available at the rate of 35% if the business is located in the notified backfield area of Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, etc. And again, if the business a new business is set up in a manufacturing sector at a notified backward area of uh, Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, etc. Then an investment allowance at the rate of 15% is available in addition to or, or over and above the normal depreciation and additional depreciation. Actual cost of asset in the case of income tax means cost of acquisition as reduced by any subsidy or other benefit received from any other agency. And if the asset is acquired by inheritance or by free gift, then the cost to the previous owner less eligible depreciation is considered as the actual cost of asset. And similarly, if the asset is reacquired after selling it previously, then actual acquisition cost or depreciated value of the asset, whichever is less, will be considered as the actual cost. Depreciation is always computed based on the actual cost. If the asset is used for less than 180 days during the previous year, only half the rate of depreciation prescribed will be allowed during the previous year. Calculation of return down value. Return down value in the beginning of the financial year, add purchases less sales including scrap value then we will get the return on value at the end of the financial year rate of depreciation prescribed for different blocks of asset residential building 5 percent other building 10 percent furniture 10 percent plant and machinery 15 percent books 40 percent computers 40 percent ships 20 percent intangible asset 25 percent the rates for other assets are also given in the income tax Act. Unabsorbed depreciation. If the profit during the previous year is not sufficient to charge depreciation, the balance is called unabsorbed depreciation. Unabsorbed depreciation can be set off against other heads of income except salary and still remains then it can be carried forward till it is fully absorbed. There is no limit for carry forward in the unabsorbed depreciation. Now we have a problem. 
Mr. X furnishes the following particulars of his income for the previous year 1819. Determine Mr. X total income for assessment year 2019-20. Depreciation 85,000. Business income before depreciation 10,000. House property 5,000. Capital gain 15,000. Other sources 10,000. Salary 10,000. So he has total 85,000 depreciation. 10,000 only business income. So it is not able to set off. So there is an unabsorbed depreciation. So it can be set off against other incomes. Just see. Income under the head salary 10,000. The de uh, unabsorbed depreciation cannot be set off against salary. House property 5,000 less depreciation set off. So 5,000 nil. Business income 10,000 less depreciation set off. So net income nil. Capital gains 15,000 less depreciation 15,000. So net capital gain nil. Other sources 10,000 less depreciation 10,000. So net income nil. So grand total of his income is 10,000 and still unabsorbed depreciation is 45,000. Another problem. X Limited set up an undertaking notified back paid area in Andhra Pradesh for manufacturing. For this purpose, he purchased a new client of machinery rate to depreciation 15%, opening return on value 10 crores. Actual cost 20 crores, date of purchase 15th April 2018, date of installation 20th May 2018, and date put to use 25th May 2018. Actually, he is eligible for depreciation on the date it is put to use, that is 25th May 2018. So we want to find out the normal depreciation, additional depreciation and investment allowance, assuming that all conditions are satisfied. In this case, as the business is newly established in a backward area, he is eligible for normal depreciation, additional depreciation and a investment allowance. Normal depreciation is the rate of 15 percentage on return down value, that is 10 lakh return down value existing plus 20 lakh additional a purchase that is 30 crores 30 crores into 15 percent that is 4.5 crores as it is in the backward area and newly established business 35 percentage additional depreciation is available so 35 percentage into 20 crores 7 crores and also it is a newly established business in the backward area an investment allowance of 15 percentage is also available so 20 crore into 15 percent Another problem, you are given in the following particulars in respect to asset of Mr. X, compute depreciation allowable as per income tax act 1961 for the assessment year 2019-20. Return down value of plant and machinery, 1st April 2018, 3 lakh 24,000, addition to the plan made on 1st December 2018 to produce an article 1 lakh machinery purchased, 31st December 2018, which could not be installed during the previous year, 1 lakh 20,000. Sale proceeds of the machinery which was originally purchased on 1st April 2016, 1 lakh, its value is 1 lakh 30,000. Machinery damaged in a fire accident, 30th March 2019, its original cost on the date of purchase is 1st April 2017, 50,000. The amount received from insurance company, 30,000. Rate of depreciation, 15,000. So answer is, WDV on 1st April 2018, 3,24,000. Add addition to the plant, 1st December 2018, 1 lakh. Machinery purchase but not installed. It's not eligible for depreciation. So total asset value, 4,24,000. Less machinery sold, 1,30,000. Less machinery damaged, that is compensation received, 30,000. So 1,60,000 to be deducted. The balance, return down value for assessment year 2019-20 is 2,64,000. So depreciation at the rate on 164,000 that is used in the whole period at the rate of 15 percentage is 24,600 and depreciation for rupees 1 lakh newly purchased it is used for less than 180 days so half depreciation is available so at the rate of 7 and a half percent it is 7,500 as it is purchased plant and machinery purchased for manufacturing so an additional depreciation of 20 percentage is available as it is a new put to use for less than 180 days only 10 percentage half the depreciation is available so it is 10,000 so total depreciation allowable is 42,100 so the remaining return down value on 1st April 2019 is 2,21,000.